here is a 3D example where we have one, two, three, four, five blocks of material. We are going to cut with a simple program recreated in our ferret cam system. As you can see, these five blocks will be cut here from a toolpath defined as intermediary position in APT type of format. Inside the input window, we'll see the treatment of a lines line by line. The output window will show you the G code generated. We start here on a three axis motion, 10 times faster compared to the feed rate program. First, we apply zero optimization. So we're going to take a look of the cut here and 10 inches a minute. And as you can see, the entering motion is too slow. We have non-optimized motion between and the exit motion is probably also too long. By using the timeline, we can expand and navigate through the simulation. We can identify here a rapid motion into the stock. You see the red line in the middle. We are making a rapid motion, leaving one block and stopping too late. So the motion is ending into the right section here on the second block. So we are hitting the material process in rapid motion, which is dangerous and will damage both the part and the tool. In our example, you can see on the left hand side, the green motion at the entry is in a feed rate. The motion in the middle can be optimized. The rapid motion is causing a collision. So this program has room for optimization. Entry in the middle here can be optimized and the end motion can be also optimized. The current time is 1 minute 52 seconds dot 76. This is the current cycle time. We're going now to repost process and adapt this program to the machine capability by putting together post processing simulation with smart cut, smart pass, and smart feed options from ICAM. Running the same program in the same conditions with the same input file, we can now see the feed rate being optimized dynamically and the toolpath being optimized in terms of motions. As you can see, the initial entry motion has been removed. We are recalculating automatically. You can see in purple the different feed rates, block by block, based on the volume of material being removed and the cutting conditions. We navigate here, and you can see at first, we take a little of material only and turn to the maximum feed rate authorized for this tool, which is 30 inches per minute. From this point, at the time we leave a material, the system goes directly to the next point by inputting a rapid or high feed motion and introduced a lead in, lead out feeding motion before and after the tool engagement. We go to eight inches a minute at the entry, cut at inches a minute during, and when we get less resistance, we move up to 12 inches to end up at 35 inches to move in rapid next motion. The rapid motion also has been trimmed automatically to avoid the collision with the stocking process, creating a small leading feed rate value, go back to a minimum feed rate because here we are removing a lot of material, there is a lot of resistance to the tool. And after that, on the next block, we are starting to recalculate step by step, creating multiple blocks with different feed rates based on the tool engagement real time inside the material. The dash lines in yellow represent the motion being optimized by the smart cut smart pass functions. The resulting cycle time here in our case becomes one minute and 10 seconds only. We have been able to first optimize the cycle time remove any unnecessary feed rate motion with the tool not cutting inside material. The program has been optimized and adapted to the machine condition automatically by the ICAM Adaptive Post Simulation Solution.